Hello, I'm Dr. Venkat Ramakrishna, Consultant and Head of Spine Surgery, Erit Hospitals. Today we are going to discuss about Cervical Compressive Myelopathy. So what is myelopathy? The term itself denotes cervical is neck. The compression is because of the compression and myelopathy means any damage to the spinal cord is called as myelopathy. So we understand about the myelopathy by knowing more about the causes for it. So the causes compressing the nerve or the spinal cord at the level of the C-spine are acute causes which is because of the acute disc prolapse which is a massive disc prolapse in the center where the spinal canal is narrowed down. It causes damage to the spinal cord. To know more about the spinal canal, the spinal canal is the space which is inside the spine where the spinal cord lies. So initially there is sufficient space for the spinal cord for it to have a good cushioning along uh, with the CSF, which is called a cerebrospinal fluid. So whenever the space is obliterated because of any encroachment, maybe because of the infection or disc prolapse or degeneration. So the causes are many of which the most common cause is degenerative. So in degenerative, uh, which is usually seen at the early stage beyond 60 years, the patient complains of tingling and numbness in the upper limbs and imbalance while walking and history of frequent falls while they're walking. So these are the initial stages where the patient need to consult the doctor because usually the patient consults the doctor when they have pain. In compressive myelopathy, they don't experience pain but the initial symptoms are uh, they are unable to write properly and they have a, uh, they can, cannot have a proper grip when they're holding certain object or when they're walking, the history of slipping of footwear and they're not able to feel the floor. And these are the initial stages which can worsen up to the level where they are wheelchair bound. So at the initial stage itself, you consult a doctor to know the reason for the compression of the spine. Investigations are X-rays and MRI. So if it is a single level compression, we go anteriorly from the front and decompress the spinal cord at that level. And if it is at the multiple level, we usually go from the back and decompress the whole chunk where we give enough space for the spinal cord to breathe in and get rid of the compressive myelopathy at the early stage. Because unfortunately, whenever the neurological symptoms happen, the recovery will be delayed. So if it is the surgery or the decompression is done at the early stage, the further complications can be avoided. So you consult your doctor at the early stage when you have the initial symptoms itself to get uh, rid of and avoid the complications further. Thank you.